Windows installation tutorial from Hetzner doesn't work on very new dedicated servers. These new dedicated servers from Hetzner are configured in a way that prevents Windows installation, but don't worry, there is a way around that. But first, why there is a problem in the first place? If you know a little bit more about computers, you may know what BIOS is. BIOS is your computer firmware that allows communication between all components and sets up correct parameters, so we don't have massive problems with compatibility. Around 10 years ago, a lot of computers started to replace legacy BIOS with UEFI, and this is really big. We got way faster boot times, more features, but also with this change from BIOS to UEFI, we changed partition tables in our drives from MBR to GPT. This old MBR isn't part of UEFI, but it can be supported with additional module called CSM, and basically every UEFI firmware in desktop or server motherboard has CSM. In UEFI that new Hetzner servers have, a lot of settings are locked, including CSM, which is permanently disabled, and that's why we have problem with Windows. Windows installs on MBR-style partition, but Hetzner disabled CSM, and you cannot boot from MBR-style partition. You can install Windows, but you cannot boot installed Windows. This is a very stupid thing, because it could be fixed in a single click, but because Hetzner decided to lock settings in UEFI, you cannot fix it. We can do one trick to bypass this limitation. You can follow this Hetzner guide, uh, but in step 3 we will make a small change. Bam! It's all you need to do. Now Windows will install correctly. Why? Because we just replaced the firmware with Tiano Core UEFI with no CSM at all. Not just disabled, no CSM at all. Windows installer knows that and it will create GPT-style partition. This Tiano Core UEFI is already included in Hetzner Rescue System, so you don't need to download it. Just proceed with the rest of the tutorial and you will have your Windows installed. Be aware that for older servers like Hetzner AX41, you shouldn't replace firmware. Original Hetzner guide will work without any modifications. Problem exists only on the newest dedicated servers from Hetzner. So it's an end of this tutorial, but I have something extra for you. Something that will save you from headaches. You want to protect your freshly installed Windows from hackers? In Hetzner Robot Interface, you can find Firewall tab. Here you can block every IP except yours that tries to connect via RDP. This simple trick will save you from hackers, but also if your IP changes, you can just change it here. That's why it's better to set up roles here instead of doing it in a Windows Firewall and always have it the risk of blocking yourself. Also, if you don't use native Windows file sharing, you should disable this feature in your network settings, because Samba protocol that Windows uses is exploited all the time by hackers. You can read about this online or just look at your logs and see how much attempts of exploiting your server there is when you have file sharing enabled. That's all for today. Have a nice day.